Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, and update number three on the ongoing 8th Army project. So starting off, let's recap what we had done in the last uh, update, update number two, which was about two weeks ago. We had two sections completed. We had a two-man lieutenant team with SMGs for bolt action, uh, boys AT rifle, two-inch mortar, and uh, just one loader guy. So that's what I had done in update number two. And since then, I have been able to complete, build, or partially complete all of the rest of this stuff. Go over the fully completed stuff first. So first I finished the third section. So I will now able, be able to field a legal chain of command platoon and also usable in bolt action, of course. So standard 10-man section, six-man rifle team, three-man Bren team, and an NCO with a submachine gun. And I've also completed my two senior leaders for chain of command. One a lieutenant with whistle and pistol, one a platoon sergeant with SMG, I've completed the sniper team with stolen arms from the USMC box and a stolen scope from the Falschemager box. I've completed the Vickers machine gun team. And as I mentioned last time, I'm just going to use the um, British crew for these. I'm not going to try to modify them into Sikhs as the size difference between the plastic and the metal crew are, are, is quite noticeable. As you can see here on the newly completed two-pounder. The metal crew are quite a bit smaller, but um, I just used what I had, so it's just gonna be the way it is, which is sad, but whatever. Um, they'll still look fine from a distance. So yeah, two-pounder done. Uh, Three-man crew on the base for bolt action with an extra three guys if I run them in chain of command, a leader, and two extra loader guys. Also completed the three-inch mortar and spotter. And the spotters also got some arms from the, I believe that these come from the uh, plastic grenadier box, the binoculars, and the map. Moving on, we've also dived in and completed a few of the vehicles, the many vehicles that we have. So the first thing I did was I completed this Vickers Mark VI platoon. So we got one that has the 50 cal and the Vickers machine gun on it, the short barrel one. And I did hand paint on some of these stripes. And I even hand painted on the triangles as they're <laughs> quite an easy thing to to paint by hand, just straight lines. And I put on some uh, decals that I had bought uh, when I made the order for the set. So we have one of those, and then we got two of these Auto Cannon Vickers uh, Mark VI tanks. Same deal. And then I also completed the M3 Grant, which is probably one of my favorites that I've done so far. Uh, I just kind of copied a pattern that I found online. Just a darker tan over a lighter tan and some white stripes. And again, I've added uh, some decals on the front. I did add a decal for that circle, as that would be pretty hard to paint by hand. And then I named the tank Cannonball. So yeah, this one came out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Then moving on to work in progress stuff. Uh, I've started building, or I built the 25 pounder and crew, and I've uh, primed them so they're ready to be painted. I've also t uh, tried my hand at the Cantor camo for the Matildas. So I just used some masking tape and kind of did, did what I normally do for tank camo, just with straight lines instead of using the putty for wavy lines. So I still need to do a couple of things on it uh, to really get it to match the Cantor, but I think it'll pass. It's not perfect, but... Um, it'll get the point across that it is Cantor camo, so I'll probably try that on a few more vehicles as well. So I got two of those plus the uh, close support variant uh, turret that I don't have here uh, right now, but it also has the Cantor camo on it. And lastly, I've started building my fourth section. So I still need to add a few guys like the leader and the um, third man and the crew for the Bren team, but uh, they should be done being built and primed and getting ready for painted here shortly as well. And that's it for update number three. So uh, I wanted to do this one real quick because we're gonna actually be, be playing a game of Chain of Command with these, ga these guys for uh, the patrons today. And I didn't wanna get the newly painted squad and the newly painted stuff mixed in with the stuff from the last update. So uh, that's why we're doing the update today. Plus I've just gotten a lot done. So I think next up we're gonna probably start working on some painting videos. Uh, we'll probably do one for a vehicle. We'll do one for the infantry and maybe some other stuff as well but for now that's it for update number three let me know what you guys think and we'll see you for the next one